Hey folks on YouTube, I want to give an introduction to linear dimensionality reduction and in particular, particular PCA or principal component analysis. So first, let me talk about a particular data set. This is an, a data set of, uh, of faces, images of faces. So I forget exactly how many people there were and how many photographs aligned did they take of each person. But each photograph um, has the size, it's 112 pixels by 92 pixels. So admittedly, not a very big image. And it's also a black and white photograph. So each single pixel, you know, I'm drawing a pixel that's a little bit too large, but each single pixel is just a, a single real number encoding how um, light or dark it is. So to represent this image perfectly, you need 10,304 numbers, right? Unfortunately, sometimes your internet speed is slow, right? So maybe your internet speed is slow and you can really only download 100 numbers right now. It'd be a little bit of a shame if all you saw was, um, was, didn't mean to do that. It'd be a little bit of a shame if, if all you saw was the first column, you know, of your image, right? You want to have an idea of which face are you looking at. Much better, and this is sort of what your browsers actually do, is if your internet speed is slow, you only see a blurry face, okay? So you've lost some of the crispness, but you still maintain a lot of the global features, at least enough to identify who it is you're looking at and what direction they're looking. So that's what dimensionality reduction will allow you to do. You know, if you have to represent a face, but you can't use all 10,000 numbers, how can you spit out a, a, you know, a blurry face that has as, as little error as possible, represented as maybe only 100 numbers instead of 10,000? Questions before I say more? All right, so we'll, we'll represent a face as sort of a sum of ghosts or eigenfaces, think eigenvectors from linear algebra. So here's the actual face. We'll represent this face as a weighted combination of say a hundred different ghosts. And we've reduced dimension because of, instead of storing all 10,000 pixels, we now just have to say, what are the coefficients for ghost one and ghost two and ghost three and ghost four that we add together to get this face? So here are our ghosts or eigenfaces. <laughs> so broadly speaking, this is fitting in the area, area of dimensionality reduction. You have some high dimensional data set, you know, here just points in R2, so that's not very high. And then you want to map it and re represent it as best as you can in some lower dimensional space. Usually we're not going from two dimensions to one dimension, right? If you're already in two dimensions, you can visualize it. Usually we're going from higher than three dimensions down into three dimensions or lower. So we might be going from, you know, a hundred dimensions into three dimensional space, or maybe 10,000 dimensions into um, 100 dimensional space. In principal component analysis, you're trying to find the line of best fit in the sense that I'll describe. I would say this purple line fits the black data points reasonably well. Um, but out of all the, the lines here, the blue line probably fits the black data points the best. Okay. The way I like to think about this blue line fitting the data points the best is by looking at these errors. So the errors are all of the, the green segments. How far away is each data point from this line model? Okay. In regression, which we're not doing, in regression, you have sort of an input and an output and error is measured in the vertical direction. How far is your predicted output away from the, the linear model, okay? 
but in PCA, there's no coordinates that are input and output. Um, you know, all the data points are, all the data coordinates are sort of treated equally. And instead, um, you're, yeah, you're just trying to find the best linear, linear model and, um, and trying to minimize this error. So this red line is not very close to our data set. And you can see that because these errors of the data points to the model are pretty large. With this yellow line, we're getting better. We're getting smaller errors. And with this purple line, we're getting even smaller errors. But principal component analysis will find the best fit that minimizes um, these errors in a certain sense as, as much as possible. And you can find the optimal line. Um, now, more generally, our data points might be in 4D, 5D, 6D, and we might be projecting down to a 2D plane or a 3D linear subspace. So I was showing you pictures of faces. Think of the black data points as the actual faces. And think of these green data points projected onto our lower dimensional linear model as the approximate reconstructed faces. Okay. So this was in black, this is the original face. In green, this is the projected face. And think of this line segment here as a measure of how blurry did you make things, right? This is the detail that you lost when you when you projected down. I'll show you these ghosts again, these eigenfaces or these eigenvectors. Think of those ghosts as the directions of this linear model. And if your linear model was a plane, you know, you would have two directions determining that plane. Okay. So each projected data point is going to be written as a linear combination of your of your eigenvectors that you find. All right. So to summarize, and PCA, you start with your initial data points. You find a collection of ghosts or eigenvectors or eigenfaces. That approximate your, your data set of not only this face, but all of the faces as best as possible. And then once you have those directions, you can approximate your face by projecting down onto the linear model, or in other words, you write your approximated face as the best you can do as a sum of these basis vectors. So in some sense, you've, you've taken your data and you've learned the best basis from which you can represent your data. All right, I'll end it there unless there are any public questions. Thanks so much.